Usually, when we talk about mid-size 4x4 pickup trucks that comes with all of the bells and whistles, you can expect to pay an arm and a leg in order to get it. Well, not quite if the GWM Canon S-Lux has its say. You see, today we get to check out the flagship GWM Canon S-Lux 4x4 to see if it can overperform or if it will fall flat on its face. Let's do this! Pickup trucks are meant to be simple, no-frills workhorses that are as dependable as your accountant and as rough as a stormy sea. Now, when it comes to features and amenities, we can't really expect much from a mid-size pickup truck that's meant for hauling, especially one at this price level. But the GWM Canon s 4x4 wants to deliver more for a lot less. And when it comes to price, it is a lot less. Coming in at 1,498,000 Philippine Pesos, the GWM Canon s 4x4 is the most affordable 4x4 mid-size pickup truck equipped with an automatic transmission. So, does this attractive price mean that we get what we pay for? Or is the GWM Canon s 4x4 a candidate for the best truck deal of the year? Let's find out. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Some of you will tell me that no, Reagan, you're wrong, pare. The GWM Canon S Lux 4x4 is not the most affordable automatic 4x4 pickup truck today in the Philippines. You'd even go as far as uh, tell me that, pare, you forgot about the Maxus T60 4x4. Well, if you go and check the Maxus Philippines website, no, sir, the T60 is no longer being sold here. It's no longer available. And at the time that I made this video, Photon Philippines still hasn't released their automatic 4x4 Thunder yet. So yes, this GWM Canon SX 4x4 is the most affordable 4x4 automatic pickup truck in the Philippines today. So given this fact, how does it drive? Well, considering the price of this truck, it actually drives pretty well. You see, we get a 2-liter turbo diesel here that puts out 161 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. Now, that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. In fact, this Canon s 4x4 pulls really hard from down low, which is where you want all the power to be when it comes to these mid-size pickup trucks. Now, all of that power is uh, sent to all four wheels via an 8-speed ZF or ZF uh, transmission, well, depending on which country you're from. <laughs> now, I said all four wheels because, dude, this truck is equipped with a Borg Warner all-wheel drive system. That's right, pare. This is the only truck available in the Philippines that comes with all-wheel drive. Okay, so it's all-wheel drive. So how does it feel to drive on the road? Well, it's no different from, let's say, SUVs that come with an all-wheel drive system. You get grip. I mean, the grip is there, although I feel that this Canon 4x4 s Lux has a more rear-wheel drive bias uh, than, let's say, uh, you know, symmetrical, true all-wheel drive vehicles. Now, GWM made this Canon so much simpler because it doesn't really get, you know, the switches for four high and stuff. Uh, you don't need to put it in four high to engage all four wheels. It, it just happens automatically. You see, when the need arises, the Canon s 4x4 can send power to the front wheels because it's rear wheel drive bias. It can send power to the front wheels in as quick as 200 milliseconds. Pare, ang bilis nun. 200 milliseconds. Tapos na. Okay. Now, if ever you're wondering though if this truck with an all-wheel drive system is capable of, let's say, tackling more technical off-road trails, 
Well, guess what? Dude, we also have a four low button here, which locks the power equally between the front and rear wheels. Now, we also have a locking rear differential. Oh yeah, we have a, lock, a rear locking differential here, which tells me that GWM equipped this truck to be a highly capable off-roader straight from the factory. But since we're on the highway, let's talk about the drive modes of the Canon for S-Lux 4x4. You see, we have uh, three drive modes here, Eco, Normal, and Sport. And the way GWM executed the drive modes is pretty interesting. You see, when you're in Eco mode, uh, the truck disables the all-wheel drive system, uh, thereby turning the Canon into a 4x2 truck. Now, this makes sense. Because if you're an all-wheel drive and you constantly drive all four wheels, then uh, yeah, that would naturally consume more fuel. Now, normal mode makes use of all-wheel drive, but it still has a rear-wheel drive bias to it. Now, when you pop it in sport mode, well, you get to use the all-wheel drive system. Plus, there's also what they call torque on demand for the front wheels. Now, the steering weight also changes uh, depending on the drive modes. Naturally, Eco mode is the lightest while Sport mode is the heaviest. Uh, but if you want to manually change your the weight of your steering feel, there's also a button uh, beside the drive mode knobs that allows you to do that. However, the steering response and sharpness of the Canon is, yeah, it's, it's truck-like, pare. Uh, I mean, it, it steers like a truck, feels like a truck, which is expected because it is a workhorse pickup truck. <laughs> now, even though the Canon S-Lux is priced like a workhorse truck, its overall styling is that of a lifestyle pickup truck. You see, we have a huge front mug right here. We have a, a massive front grille right there that makes the Canon look more like a full-size truck rather than a mid-size truck. Now check this out, pare. We also have full LED headlight units here as well as LED DRLs. And considering that this Canon is priced below 1.5 million Philippine pesos when I made this video, yeah, pare, those LED headlights, that's a flex. <laughs> that's a flex, pare. Now, these aren't just ordinary LED headlights, but these are also fully automatic LED headlight units, so that increases the flex factor even more. Now, in case you have to go through a low visibility area, well, fret not because the GWM Canon also has a pair of fog lights right there. When you look at the side profile of the Canon S-Lux here, and you look at it from the middle all the way to the front, you'll see that the design kind of resembles that of a a full-size premium Japanese SUV. In fact, they even threw in this uh, front fender garnish here to complete the look. Now, I'm wondering what premium full-size SUV would that be? Uh, patrol! Patrol! <coughs> sorry, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, as for the amenities here in the side profile, well, we do get a good amount. Now, we have uh, power folding side mirrors here with LED turn signals. We also have a set of step boards there. And we also have 18-inch alloy wheels. Now, those 18-inch alloy wheels look pretty good, but they would look a lot better if we have a set of all-terrain off-roading tires on this Canon s -Lux. I mean, mm -mm -mm, it's going to look really, really badass with all-terrain tires. Now, behind those wheels, we get four-wheel disc brakes, which is a notable upgrade over the other mid-size pickup trucks in the same price category. You see, those other trucks, yeah, they still have uh, drum brakes at the back, but the Canon s lux gets four-wheel disc brakes. Uh -huh. Now, when it comes to the suspension, of course, we have the usual set. We have a double wishbone front suspension and a set of leaf springs at the back. Now, as for the ground clearance, well, we have a 232mm ground clearance here, which is typical for a mid-size pickup truck. 
When you hop inside the cabin, this is where you won't believe your senses. See, we get a plush cabin here and this cockpit will give the other mainstream pickup truck contenders a big run for their money. You see, we get leather seats here that come with some quilting patterns as well as a brown piping there. But more importantly, these leather seats get power adjustments for both the driver and the front passenger. I mean, wow, pare, what a flex. Now, we also have a leather wrapped steering wheel here that also adjusts for a tilt and it also telescopes. So that is welcome use for taller drivers. Now we also have a pair of paddle shifters here, which to its credit, yeah, is pretty quick and it's also quite responsive. Now we also have a digital gauge cluster there as well as a nine inch touchscreen infotainment system that comes with Apple CarPlay, oh yeah, and it also has Android Auto, double oh yeah, and we even have a 360 degree view camera image here. I mean, pare. Seriously, a 360 degree view camera image in a mid sized pickup truck at this price category? That's bonkers, man. That's bonkers. That is literally unheard of. But we get that here in the Canon S Docs 4x4. Now, another piece of good news here is check this out. We also have a full set of physical knobs and buttons there for all of the features all of the stuff that you will be using while you're driving the Canon s 4x4. You see, GWM understands that most pickup truck drivers would prefer to have physical knobs and buttons for all of their controls, and that is exactly what we have here. Now, other than that, we also have uh, yeah, an actual shift uh, lever here. We have the electronic park brake with an auto hold button, a button here on the side of the drive modes knob uh, to help adjust your steering wheel weight. Yes, we have that. And of course, the four low button right there. And when you look at the cabin materials that they use, as I said, this is plush with a capital P. See, we have uh, quilted leather inserts on the dash, uh, on the door cards, I mean. We have yeah, soft touch materials on the dashboard. We have some stitch leather here at the sides of the center tunnel. And overall, it really comes together to give you a nice and premium cabin experience here. And the best part, the build quality of this cabin, yeah, pare, it's truly top notch. Which you'll feel when you go for a drive. Despite the stiffer than usual suspension, we don't get any rattles or creaks uh, inside the truck. The fit and finish of the cabin materials are above average and can easily compare to the more expensive 4x4 pickup trucks out there. Now the NVH is also pretty good. Uh, we get minimal wind noise here and a relatively quiet diesel engine. Another thing that can compare to the more expensive trucks out there would be the safety bits. The Canon s 4x4 is equipped with, get this, huh? driver assist aids like adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and all of the stuff that you're now seeing on your screen. It's like, putik, wow, pare, ha, nep, di ba, ha, nep. Now, that is a crazy set of kit, enough to give this GWM Canon s 4x4 five stars, oh yeah, it got five stars in the Australian NCAP safety rating. Unfortunately, there is one area that really needs improvement, and that would be the fuel economy figures. You see, light city drives in eco mode uh, gave back 8.4 kilometers per liter, which is pretty decent for a mid-sized truck. But a drive on the highway, well, on eco mode, you know, the best that I can do was 11.7 kilometers per liter. Now, that got me curious because it's below the average for a mid-sized pickup truck. Now, I have a theory for this. You see, my theory is that the, the tuning of the transmission uh, contributes to that lower fuel consumption. You see, the 8-speed ZF automatic here is pretty rev-happy. 
And in fact, it kind of downshifts quicker and even rev matches. <laughs> yeah, so it's, a, it's an aggressive transmission and it's really eager to put the power down. Now, the acceleration is really meaty from standstill, especially when you're in sport mode. So it looks like the transmission of the GWM Canon SDOX 4x4 uh, puts more priority on performance uh, rather than actual fuel savings. Now at this point, let's hop over at the back to see and find out how this truck rides. Alright, so the back seat of the Canon S-Lux is comparable to the next-gen Ford Ranger when it comes to the overall space. This is wide, spacious, and comfortable and can easily accommodate three average adults. Now, the thing is, the ride quality of the Canon s Lux is a bit on the bouncy side, which is what you'd expect from a mid-size pickup truck that is priced like a workhorse truck. I mean, it is a pickup truck on leaf springs, so that's why the ride is a bit more on the bouncy side. The thing is, when it comes to the amenities though, this Canon s Lux 4x4 is head and shoulders above the competition. You see, we get a pair of rear AC vents there. Uh huh. We also have a USB charge port and a home socket outlet. And we even have the back seat that can split fold up. That's right, pare. This is the first time I've seen a pickup truck's uh, bench seat split fold. I mean, usually it just unifolds, but this one, it can split fold. Now, aside from that, we also have an actual center armrest here to make the ride a little bit more comfortable although we don't really have uh, a set of cup holders on these on the center armrest but no biggie pare no big deal i mean when it comes to the overall amenities here at the back seat oh yeah this is best in class now being a workhorse you can expect that the canon s lux can haul a lot of cargo now, as you can see we have a nice and wide truck bed here and in fact we even have a bed liner plus we also have a style bar up top. Now when it comes to payload, the Canon s Lux can haul up to 1050 kilos worth of cargo. Now that's nice and good but dude, check this out. Now, this is something I didn't expect to get for this price category. See? Wow, look at that. Oh yeah. Yep. The Canon s Lux 4x4 comes with an assisted liftgate here. So the fact that we also have that is a huge plus for this mid-size pickup truck. At the end of this video, it is clear that the GWM Canon s Lux 4x4 not only undercuts the competition in terms of price, but it also outperforms in terms of features, cabin materials, safety, and overall space. It seems that GWM threw everything they can into the Canon's feature set, save for maybe the kitchen sink. So to answer the question at the start of this video, yes, the GWM Canon s Lux 4x4 is a strong contender as the best truck deal of the year. Thanks for watching.